Sports Radio Detroit here at the Crowfoot and Pontiac for the Detroit versus Ireland amateur boxing event. We are here with James Lyons. James, tell us a little bit about yourself and about yourself as a fighter. Uh, as you said, my name is James Lyons. I'm uh, I'm from uh, a place in Northern Ireland, close to Belfast. It's uh, it's called Ballymoney. Uh, I fight for the club called Scorpion. Uh, I go to Ballycastle High School. I'm currently studying A levels, um, and my boxing experience here has been unbelievable. Uh, I I couldn't ask for a better experience in my life. Uh, it really is perfect, and I'm loving it. Well, it's wonderful to have you. I know you've done these events a couple of times, uh, Detroit going over there, you guys coming over here. What do you uh, usually plan for? It's hard to see people out of international fights. You don't get a lot of tape on them. How do you prepare not knowing what your opponent's going to have for you? Well, I, I will admit I usually look them up on social media, but um, when you can't do that, you just train hard. And if you train hard, you won't lose. Wonderful. Yeah, it's a good game plan, especially in the amateurs. A lot of times there's a lot of guesswork, not sure who's going to be what and what kind of styles you're going to see. What do you have coming forward? Coming forward? I'm hoping to go pro at some point. I'm hoping to go pro soon. That sounds great. You seem like a really good fighter. you got a lot going for you. Big future ahead of you. Thanks for taking your time with us. Thank you very much. Right. Sounds good. Sports Radio Detroit, we're here live from the Crowfoot and Pontiac for the Detroit vs. Ireland Amateur Boxing Event. We have victorious Ryan Williams in the uh, in the house tonight with a big victory tonight with Coach Rob from Team Cartel. Ryan, my first question for you, I wanted to see early in the fight, you were throwing a nice check hook. You were really patient and really conservative with your, with your uh, uh, plan there. But I noticed that he kind of pressured you early and then switched to southpaw in the second round. What were your thoughts when he switched left-handed? Do you think he was trying to avoid that check hook, or what was your thoughts in that fight? Uh, uh, keep pressuring him and stay focused and don't worry about what he's doing. Yeah, it looked like he was really trying to get away from that left hand, and when he switched over into southpaw, you seemed to handle it really well with the right hand. Coach, how did you feel about his performance today? Uh, I mean, he fought up in age and weight, but I give him a B, you know what I'm saying? Being that, you know, international styles are very awkward. They're hard to figure out. I thought he adjusted well when guys switched to southpaw, started using his right hand and closing the distance. He did that pretty well at the second half of the fight. What did you see in the night's fight that would make you work on something in the gym for his next fight? Well, controlling the opponents more with his jab. You know, he try to load up with his check hook and his hook sometimes. Sometimes people don't be there for it, so you got to push with your jab. Sounds great, guys. Thanks for your time. And, Ryan, once again, big victory today. Congratulations.